To begin, we're going to stand in mountain pose. I want you to bring your hands to your heart. Let your thumbs press into your chest. And we're going to take a couple of breaths here. I'd like you to have your feet a little bit closer than we normally do and have your toes pointing forward. I want your thighs, if you can imagine them rolling inwards towards each other. And if you like, you can close your eyes if you feel confident in your balance. Or just to see how it feels. Your breath is in and out through your nose. We're going to sweep the hands down by our side, letting the shoulders open and the palms face forward. You can roll your shoulders back and open your chest more. to bring the hands towards each other and inhale, sweep the arms up. Look up, if you will, as your hands press together and exhale down to your heart. Again, sweep the arms down and out. Exhale down to your heart. Once more. Sweep them again, this time interlacing the fingers. Once you interlace them, take your gaze forward. Take your hands up to the ceiling. Take a breath or two here. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, lean to one side. Again, this is your first stretch in this direction, so you're not going all the way. You're just going just enough to feel the stretch. Again, continue breathing. On an inhale, come back up to center, stretch your arms up, and then on the exhale, take it to the other side. Again, this is not a big stretch. We're not trying to go all the way over. Slowly come back up to center. Release your hands. Slowly bring them all the way down and sweep them back up to your heart. Sweep them down and up and you inhale. Exhale back down and around to your heart. Again. time. We're going to step our feet apart just a little bit and we're going to add a little bit more movement to that. So we're going to sweep the arms down as you bend your knees. doesn't have to be deep. As you swing your arms up, you straighten your legs. 
As your hands come down, you bend your knees once again as they sweep back up to your heart, your back in standing. We'll do that one more time. Sweep the arms down as you bend your knees. As your arms go up, you come back up to standing. As your arms come down, you bend your knees. As you come back up to your heart, you're standing. All right, we're going to do that a few times. Inhale here. You may exhale as you come up. It might be an inhale as you go down. And an exhale as you come up. Your breath may be just the opposite. And it's okay, just as long as you're breathing, not holding your breath, letting your breath be natural throughout the whole process. And you're being very mindful of your movements. You're not trying to bend all the way down to the floor. And when you do bend your knees, you're trying to not let them go too far past your toes. You can even look down and just see how far your knees are going out, if they are. And if you're having issues with your knees, I'm going to suggest you sink your hips back a little further so you're almost in chair as you do this movement. We'll do this one more time. to our heart and you're going to gently twist to one side you're keeping your hips forward so you're not twisting your entire body you're just twisting here in the torso Exhale, come back to center. We will inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to the heart. Take a breath in. Exhale and twist to the opposite side. Gently twist back to center. Sweep the arms down and around. Exhale, sweep them down and back up to your heart. We're now going to take our feet a little bit wider. And you may have to move your feet around a little bit to decide exactly where they need to be. And it's quite all right. You make as many adjustments as you need to. You're going to turn your feet out at an angle. From here, we're going to sweep the arms out and up. Exhale them down and back to the heart. And now you're just going to bend one knee, only going as far as is comfortable. And again, when you do bend your knee, you want to try to make sure that your knee does not track past your ankle. And then you'll straighten that knee and go to the opposite side. And we're just going to go back and forth, bending one knee, coming back up, bending the other, and coming back up. And just go back and forth at your own pace. You 
and tie it to your breath. Inhale as both legs are straight. Exhale as you bend one knee. Again, you don't have to bend it a whole lot. I'm not wanting you to go very deep. It's just a gentle bend and you're switching from side to side. We'll do one more on each side and we'll meet back up in the center. Alright, from here we're going to bend both knees and then come back up. Bend both knees and come back up. Do this a few more times. Come back up. Again, be kind with your body. I'm going to go as far as is comfortable for you. This next time we go down, we're going to stay. We're going to sweep the arms up into field goal. And we are now in what is known as goddess pose. We're going to wiggle our fingers a little bit and we are going to add some movement while we are here. So you're going to drop one hand down to one thigh and extend over to the other side. And then as you come back up through center, you're going to go to the opposite side. center, drop one arm towards the same thigh, and as you come back, you're just gently moving your arms, switching which side, this with your breath. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. We'll get this on each side for one last time. Come back to center, hands together at your heart, straighten your legs, point your feet forward now. Inhale, arms up and over your head, let them cross, exhale, come into a forward fold, nice and slow, and if you need a block to let your hands find the floor, it might be a little bit early to be reaching down here, but it's okay. This is our first forward fold, so we're not trying to go all the way down. That's what the block is for. So if, if you don't need the block or you don't have one, you can be up on your fingertips or you can just dangle. You know, you may not even be touching the floor. You can walk your feet in just a hair if you need to. Have a softness in your knees. Slowly begin to rise. Your knees are softly bent. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Let the arms cross and hug your shoulders. And then on inhale, come back up. Exhale, 
forward fold. Let the other arm be on top as you cross and give a self hug. Inhale, sweep the arms out, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Another self hug. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold. Continue with this movement at your own pace, using your own breath's pace. And if it's more than one breath to get to each location, that's okay. Last time going down and we're going to stay. So place your hands on that block. If you need to readjust your feet, you may do so. Have a little softness in your knees. We're going to place one hand in the center of the floor of our site. Take the opposite arm up to the ceiling. Your gaze is with the same direction as the arm that is up to the ceiling. And then switch. Bring that arm down. Take the other arm up. Switch, bring that arm back down, take the other one up. One more time to switch. Bring that hand down, let your palms go face up. Bend your knees quite a bit. Your palms are face up. You're going to slowly begin to rise, bringing your palms to your chest. Turn them out and follow your hands up to the ceiling. Swan dive, forward fold. Arms go up behind you. Swing the arms down as you bend the knees deeply, swinging your arms forward. Bring the arms back as you begin to straighten your legs and your hands go back up to the sky. Airplane arms flat back as you slowly rise taking the palms all the way to the top till the fingertips touch. Here, I want you to find your exhale as you bring them down towards your heart and all the way down. Inhale up, fingertips touch. When they touch, you turn your feet out Begin to bend your knees as you bring your palms in front of your heart. Open your arms wide. On an exhale, you're going to turn your feet to point forward, bring your hands down, come into this forward fold. Place one hand at the center of your vision. Take the opposite arm up to the sky as you twist in that direction. Sweep that arm down, trade places. Let your opposite arm go up to the sky. Sweep that arm down, bend your knees a lot Place your palms facing your face. Slowly begin to rise, bringing your hands and your palms up to your chest. Once they are there, turn them. Follow your hands to the sky. 
Swan dive, forward fold. Your arms go up behind you. Bend the knees as you swing the arms forward. And your knees are bent deeply. Bring the arms back as you straighten your legs. Your arms go up. You're in a forward fold. Flatten the back. Airplane arms. Slowly rise. Find an exhale and bring it all the way down. One last time. Inhale. Both arms up. Turn your feet out at an angle. As you bring your hands to your heart, bend your knees. Open your arms wide. Turn your feet forward as you straighten your legs, bringing your hands together down to the ground into a forward fold. One hand down on the ground, the other one goes up to the sky. Slowly sweep that arm down and trade places. Sweep that hand down. Bend your knees a lot. Your palms are facing your face. Slowly begin to rise when your hands reach your chest. Turn them out and up to the sky. Swan dive, forward fold. Your arms go up towards the ceiling. Bend the knees a lot, swing the arms forward. Bring the hands back towards your body as you straighten your legs back into that forward fold. Airplane arms flat back as you slowly rise one last time. Find an exhale here. And bring it all the way down. All right, step your feet together. Kick your feet a little bit. We have been really putting the pressure on them with those rounds of what is called golden seed. All right, we're going to do a chair. So feet are hip distance apart. Swing the arms down as you sink your hips back and bring your hands up by your ears. Or your arms, not your hands. <laughs> you can wiggle your toes a little bit. And we're going to add some movement. So inhale, the arms open. Exhale, forward. time with the arms coming forward. We'll sweep the arms down, bend a little bit deeper, and then come back up to standing. Exhale to your heart. We are going to go ahead and come down onto the mat. We're going to come to a seated, comfortable position. You choose which leg you want in front. 
I'm going to get a drink. Hopefully you have one nearby too. All right. Your hands are resting on your knees. We've been working hard today. Whichever leg is in front, you're going to lean towards that side. Come forward and go around. You can close your eyes. enjoy this movement. This will be the last time we do this circle. Come up to center. You're going to, again, keeping that leg in front, you're going to take that same hand out to the side and take a gentle side stretch. You can look up towards the crease of that top arm at the elbow if you like, or in that general direction. And if you're feeling it, you can ease that hand that's on the ground, you can ease that forearm closer to the ground. But only if it's available to you. If you're up here, that's fantastic. You go where it feels good to you. I am just your guide, trying to make sure you have as many options. Again, if this arm doesn't feel good over your head, sweep it behind your back, letting the top of your hand rest somewhere on your back. By doing so, that really opens up the chest area. For me, I'm going to see how long I can let mine stay up here. All right, we're going to slowly come upright, leaning with the opposite arm that was above your head, taking it over to the opposite knee, going into a twist. Without untwisting your body, take your gaze over that front arm. Slowly and gently untwist forward. We'll take a breath in. And on the exhale, walk your hands out in front of you as far as is comfortable for you. I want you to keep the arms active this time so we're not soft in the elbows. So our arms are nice and strong. That might mean you stay up on your fingertips. You can keep your gaze neutral, just like I am right here. However, if you'd like, you can bow your head without loosening your arms. Slowly and gently walk your hands back up towards your body. And we're going to switch which leg is in front. 
Again, you get comfortable. I'll give you a moment to get here. And we're going to do the circle. So you're going to lean towards that same side that that leg is in front and take your circle. Again, you can close your eyes. one more full circle and come back upright. From here you're going to take the opposite side that you took a minute ago and take that arm out. And your other arm up top again you can look towards the crease or in that general direction. Each side is different, where I felt like I could go further on the opposite side. I'm not feeling it on this side. I'm a little bit tighter in that low back. So I'm going to be a little bit nicer on this side than I was the other. I'm not going to go in as deep. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to back up a bit. If at any time you ever feel like your hand's going to sleep or your arm is going to sleep or your foot, try moving it just a hair in either direction and see if that doesn't help. Give it a moment. If it doesn't help, try moving it a little further in either direction. And as always, you can take your arm back behind your back. Now when we do this, it opens up the whole chest area. gently come upright, leading with that top arm over to the opposite knee. My shirt is getting all twisty. And if yours gets twisty, feel free to adjust it to make it comfortable for you. Without untwisting your body, take your gaze over your front shoulder. Gently untwist forward. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, walk your hands back out in front 
Again, keeping them active, so maybe you're up on your fingertips to keep from collapsing into them. Again, your gaze can be just right here like I'm at, I am. I'm looking down between my hands, maybe just a little bit past the fingers. You can stay here like this, or if you choose to, without collapsing into your arms, bow your head. Slowly and gently walk your hands back towards your body. And we are going to extend the leg that has been in front all the way out in front, keeping the leg that is bent up here by the thigh. And if you have a strap or a rope belt, a man's tie, a scarf, even a towel would work for this. If you notice my foot fell over, I'm going to make it point right back up to the ceiling. You're going to lasso your foot with your belt at the ball of your foot just below your toes. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Imagine you're holding the reins and it's, whoa, okay, not that hard, but you get the picture. You're sitting upright, nice and tall, in your saddle. Your elbows are gently bent, or generously bent in my case. And you're going to take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, you're going to draw your elbows back towards your body. And if it's too much, you may have to walk your hands back down your belt. And you're going to bring your body forward, but your back is going to remain tall and long and not hunched over or upright. And you're gently pulling on your rope or your belt or your reins, whatever we want to call it this morning. It's early, people. I come up with all kinds of stuff. And just continue to breathe. Try not to collapse your back. Try not to round and dump forward. And, you know, we're not trying to go down here and touch our nose to our knee or anything. We're just gently pulling ourselves a little bit forward by bending the elbows back, taking them towards our body. Slowly and gently come back up front. We're going to unlasso that foot. We're going to inhale up and we're going to twist towards that bent knee. And again, you want to try to keep that leg pointing up towards the ceiling. And it's okay if you're looking over towards that foot for this twist. Keeping an eye on it, keeping it flexed. Slowly and gently untwist forward. We're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, you're going to walk your hands towards your feet. Again, your arms are active, so you're up on your fingertips. Your gaze is down towards your toes. Some of you might be able to grab your feet and that's fine. Not everyone can go all the way down here. Some people might be up here and that is fantastic. But you go where it feels good to you. Only go as far as is comfortable. Do not ever go to the point of pain. If you ever feel pain, back off. All right, we're going to slow.
slowly come up right. And we're going to get this all on the opposite side. So switch legs. Again, we bring this knee bent, and you may be here, okay? But for me today, I'm up a little higher. And as I always say, every day is different. Again, you don't want this foot flopping out. You want to keep it nice and upright. The knees are pointing towards the ceiling. The toes are pointing towards the ceiling. You lasso that foot the ball of the foot just below the toes. Again, you're sitting upright, nice and tall in your back. Your chest is lifted. Your neck is long. Your elbows might be bent a little bit or a lot. But we're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to bend the elbows back towards our body as we exhale. And as you can see, I don't go as far on this side. I was having issues with it earlier. So imagine that. Again, you can adjust where you're holding the strap at. And you're just drawing your elbows back towards your body. Your back is still long and tall. We're not Couched over for nice and upright. Continue to breathe. You can let your gaze be down towards your foot if you like. You can even close your eyes if you like, but be mindful that you don't slump into a rounded forward fold. Don't get too relaxed. I know we're doing yoga, we're supposed to relax, but hey, <laughs> I want you to be very aware of what your body is doing while we are in this pose. that strap and we can probably put it to the side. We're going to inhale the arms up and twist towards that bent knee. Again, you can keep an eye on that foot while you are in this twist, making sure that it doesn't fall over or you get relaxed. We're being very mindful of our posture. We're sitting nice and tall. Not even sure it's been a long time. Is the rain in Spain? Apparently not. <laughs> At least not this way anyway. Continue to breathe. Slowly and gently untwist forward. If you played along with me, move your block. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands down and out towards your foot. Again, only go as far as is comfortable for you. Again, we're not collapsing. You might reach your feet. That's fine, but you don't have to. Again, we're not hunching down, we're not rounding forward, we're keeping everything nice and upright. Slowly and gently come back upright. And now we're going to bring the soles of our feet together. I want you to do butterfly for a little bit. Close your eyes. All right, come 
to a crisscross applesauce position that is comfortable for you. I'd like you to let your palms rest in your lap. Take a moment and shrug your shoulders up to your ears. You're going to hold them there until I tell you to release them. So continue to breathe normally. Okay, release your shoulders down. Eyes are closed. Palms are face up in your lap. And for a little bit of relaxation, all you're going to do is touch your fingertips to your thumb. You can start with your index. You go to your middle. Your ring. And your pinky. Back to your ring finger. Your middle finger your index. Continue this motion as you breathe in and out through your nose. Release your fingers, let them relax. With your eyes closed, bring your hands together at your heart. Softly open your eyes, have a soft gaze. Bring your hands up in front of your face, drawing your forearms together, keeping your thumbs and your pinky fingers together. Open your hands up as if to create a flower. Raise them up a little bit above your head. This is a nice stretch for your shoulder blades, if you're wondering. And then bring everybody back down to prayer hands in front of your heart. The light in me honors the light in each of you. I hope that you enjoyed this morning's practice. And until next time.